Coming off our uh, big win last week against St. Thomas down in St. Paul, uh, our guys really played well on both sides of the football. Um, our offensive line, I thought, dominated the line of scrimmage. Certainly uh, uh, that showed in the fact that Sam Sura rushed for uh, 210 yards. and We really did a good job against their, uh, their defense, which is very quick, and uh, they throw a lot of things at you with blitzes, and our guys picked them up and really did a great job. I was uh, very impressed and very proud of our offensive guys. Defensively, we also did a very good job holding them to two touchdowns, um, and especially in the fourth quarter, uh, we came up with four turnovers that really uh, turned the game in our favor. So it was a great ov overall effort for our guys and um, got us back on the winning track. And now we have to uh, look forward to Hamlin. We play them tomorrow. They are a much improved football team. Uh, they have a great running back themselves. Uh, I would say Austin Duncan and and uh, Sam Sir are probably the two best in the league. So we've got our work cut out for us on defense trying to stop him. He led the league last year in rushing and uh, is a really talented running back. So uh, they're a much improved football team. We're going to have to play a great game in order to beat them. But I think our kids are feeling confident after last week, and now we got to build on that. And uh, each week we, our goal is to get better as a football team. And we did that last week. Now we got to take the next jump uh, this week. So... Look forward to seeing everybody out at homecoming tomorrow, and it should be a great game. Well, St. John's University traveled to St. Paul last uh, week and played University of St. Thomas on their home field. Uh, a lot of great things came out of the game. We played a pretty consistent game defensively. Ended up with four turnovers in the fourth quarter that kind of nullified any of their possessions at that time, and we came away with a 24-14 win against a very good football team. They were undefeated coming into that game and they had a bye week so they had two weeks to prepare for us and and we felt good about most of the game um you know against good teams they're going to make a few plays and you just got to kind of make some adjustments as you go and and I thought our guys did a nice job of that as as the game moved on and um we played well and like I said uh playing against a good team on their home field with a great crowd it was a great win for for St. John's and but the thing about that game, it's only one game, and it counts as one win, and so now we got to move on to the next next game, and we have our homecoming this week on campus here of hosting Hamlin University. Hamlin's an improved football team from last year. they got one of the top running backs uh, that we'll see, in not only in our conference, but probably in the country, and, and Austin Duncan. He's just a tough six foot, 220-pound running back. Uh, that you got to wrap him up and tackle, otherwise he's going to gain some yards on you. And I know he rushed over 1,400 yards last year on a team that, you know, didn't throw the ball as well as they do now. And guys keyed on him last year, and he still came up with yards. So they're throwing the ball a little bit better than they did last year, and and that creates some more opportunities for him to run the football uh, with a passing game to go along with it. So we'll have to be on our on our best uh, behavior as far as making sure guys are staying in position and playing disciplined football and, and not trying to do too much on the field. And it's going to be a tough game for us. And we came away with a, a very close six-point win last year when they had a chance to actually beat us late in the fourth quarter. And we'll have to do a great job of, of getting to our spots. And hopefully we can come away with a win against uh, Hamlin University for St. John's homecoming 2014. Well, um, we were real, obviously real happy with the game at St. Thomas. Um, the offensive line played well. We uh, we ran the ball well and mixed in uh, some good play-action pass, kind of the, what we've been doing all year, um, uh, keep keep them off balance uh, and, and had a nice nice game. Um, we'd like to maybe open it up a little bit more in that second half, but uh, we felt like running out the clock was probably the better option there, and, and our defense was doing such a great job. So... Um, hopefully this week we can uh, we can mix things up a little bit more. Um, Hamlin poses kind of a little different uh, look. They they sit back a little bit more and and uh, they they vary up their defensive fronts more than we've seen. Um, so it'll keep us off balance. Um, obviously, you know we'll need to continue to run the ball, but uh, we hope to you know again keep keep progressing in our passing game and uh, and and make sure that's going as as good as it can be. So. Look forward to a great game, great crowd. Um, we're ready for it. Uh, we pretty came out pretty uh, injury free in that last game, so we're we're as healthy as we've been uh, um, since uh, we lost the, the lineman in the first couple games. So 
Um, we're excited. All right. Uh, yeah, it was a great win. I mean, we got the momentum rolling. Now we just need to keep it up through the season, keep the team going, and, uh, you know, keep it going into homecoming. Uh, great to be back home now and hope to have a great crowd out there and, you know, really show them a good game.